Hi guys, today is all about beauty. Ladies, 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 are you there? Are you there? Let me tell you today we'll be talking about waist beads, waist beads, guys. People may see that in the different view. Some people can see in the positive way, some people can see in the negative way. We'll be talking about that and i will show you guys i will explain a little bit what is the point of the culture okay stay tuned hello hello bonjour bonjour to mon today's video i'm gonna show you guys i'm gonna tell you not even show you i will show and i'll a little bit of try to explain about the african beads the waist beads which is um very popular even here in america some even here in the u.s some girl ladies women they keep wearing it they wearing it some people they wear it just for 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 to show off some people, the beads have a meaning, a uh, very profound meaning of that. Let me break it down a little bit about beads. <coughs> the waist beads, oh, some people, they wear for beauty. Some people, they wear to check their weight loss. Their weight loss. You know, like if you put it on your waist, that can help you to determine if you gain your weight if you gain weight that beads will be tight on your waist if you lose in weight it's gonna get loose right so some people believe they just wait for to to watch their weight once they lose weight the beats will tell you once you gain guys it will become tight so you just have to take it off and then some people believe back in the day it's just for you and your partner so once you wear that beads your partner cannot resist so you only your partner can be able to see nobody else like uh, your husband you can you have to wear have that waist just for your husband nobody else only for your partner okay all right and that's the positive way some people they wear just for beauty to show off they have the beads around their waist and the negative way some other people they believe like a witchcraft so when they go to a witchcraft for protection or anything else whatever the witch the, those juju ju ju voodoo men they will give you like a waist bead to put in your around the waist that's what they believe to put in the waist to protect them kind of protection but coming from a christian family i'm not judging People have their own belief, but only God can protect you. Let me show you the way space. Those things are so beautiful and I always love it, love it, love it. Okay, so they come, some of them come in different sizes, different color, different styles, different designs. So it's kind of so beautiful. So, so we have like, and then they have some of them can even light up on the night for you. During when you turn off the light, it can light up. So look at this beauty. Okay, this one is kind of like a blue, gold, blue, gold, and kind of yellow. That's kind of different sizes. This is brown. you can see this is brown it has some uh, big uh, uh, ring stone here crystal right here they are different different color and this is mixed they are blue red and gold this is just you know it just depends how they're gonna design it for you and then most of the time um, and they have some like some Ghanaian, they have one with their um, um, color flag on it. 
and this is go this is this is can light up for you on the in the in the in the dark so one is dark this can light up for you <laughs> see how beautiful it is it's really beautiful so and they have some small tiny tiny little bit size on it they have the one i have like a small one too i can show you that those are very small very tiny very very small i know you may not see in the camera right here uh it's very small very very tiny which is beautiful and then some people they may prefer to wear more than three four five even ten around the waist which is really <laughs> it's beautiful okay some people they prefer some people they may not want a lot in the waist some people you know they want a lot some people may, may wonder how to tie on your waist, how to wear it. Okay, I'm going to take one of these and I'll show you. Okay. So, some of the beads can come very, very long. Like maybe like, uh, almost like over a year. Can go, uh, it depends on, it doesn't matter how the size of your waist. I'm going to get one. All right, guys. So, like this one is about this is one year. It's over a little bit one year. Okay. So the only thing you can do, you need a pair of scissors and then you need your beads. You just take this one, put around your waist, around your waist. Okay. You put around your waist. You don't want it too tight and you don't want it too loose once you get exactly the size that you want it can fit you feel like it can fit it's not gonna fall down or it's not gonna be too tight because once you cut it out that's it it's gonna be either short or you know you can't i mean you can attach it and then you know but just and they have a, a rope very sturdy rope they made it very like this one, the rope is too close. All you have to do, you can remove some of the stuff out of it. And then you just make a knot. That's it. You're good to go. And the good things about that, you can take a shower with it. You don't have to take it off. Once it's on, you don't have to take it off. Unless, you know, you get tired of it. Or you want to change it to a different one or different style or you want to remove or put the small one only or you know the bits one I mean you know it depends whatever style you want to change it that's the only time you can you can remove it and then the good quality one I don't care how much you, you scrub your body with it <laughs> they never come out they won't come out because the they don't come out and they don't fade. That's the good things about that. So African beads, they're really, really good compared to the one they have here. You can make your own, but the one African beads, they're really good quality. They last longer and they don't fade. They don't fade at all. And the rope is really sturdy. The rope is really, it's really, you can see how thick it is. So they don't easily gonna break or come out you know the only things can come out unless you're scrubbing yourself so hard you're scrubbing yourself so hard that's the only way that they can the beads can you know rip off but um otherwise no all right so that's pretty much what i want to share with you guys about african beads african beauty african beauty okay all right where i came from in congo we usually we ladies would usually don't wear the beads um we usually don't wear beads but i learned this from uh from my my friend and sister from uh west african i'm from central africa so we usually don't wear beads you know but you can like some country like Guinea, Senegal, Sierra Leone, 
Merci, 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 merci beaucoup de regarder mon vidéo. Merci pour le support, support to continue supporting my channel. Uh, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Right, que Dieu vous bénisse à la prochaine. Au revoir.